Saturday's Thanksgiving and grand reception for Mr. James Ibory, the former Delta State Governor convicted for money laundering, Sahara Reporters has learned, cost the government of Delta State and 250 million. The event, which held at the Unity Square, Avwar, a Lomu in Ugeli South local government area of the state, was fully supported by Mr. Ibaras protege and incumbent governor. In February 2017, Mr. Akel approved an expenditure of N350 million for a Thanksgiving service and reception in honor of Mr. Ribori, who was released from jail in the United Kingdom, UK, in December 2015 after serving a 13-year term for corrupt enrichment and money laundering. Top government sources told Sahara reporters the Saturday's event, organized by the Mr. John Oguma-headed robo-political class, was backed by Mr. Akawa as a way of ensuring Mr. I. Balras support for his second-term bid. The governor knows he has to please Ibori ahead of the 2019 elections. All the Aso Eba used for the event were paid for by the state government. So was the flight that brought the People's Democratic Party, PDP, National Chairman, Mr. Ruck Secundus, and all the members of the party's National Working Committee, said a top government source. He explained that Mr. Akawa simply used robo-political class as a facade. According to the source, the event was conceived by Mr. Oguma, a contractor to the state government and ally of the governor but was seized by Mr. Akal. What we do here is go back, 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 back. Another government official told Sahara reporters that apart from the money paid for the chartered flight, a huge sum of money was shared among the entourage of the P2P national chairman. <laughs> Governor Akal picked the date for the Thanksgiving and reception for Ibori. He also used the opportunity to ensure that the P2P national chairman could commission a road project in Ugeli, the source said. Shortly after receiving Mr. Secondus and members of the NWC, Mr. Akal took the P2P national chairman to commission the resurfaced Mkpa-Fiesir-Afuoma road in Ugeli North local government area of the state before going to the reception venue. Speaking at the reception, Mr. Secundus, described Mr. Ibori as a national hero that must be accorded respect. Because Ibori has always remembered the poor, the masses, his people, hence God fought for him and brought him back. Ibori must be celebrated because he is a man of the people not just in Delta State, but across the nation. Today, he is a factor in this country. On behalf of the masses of our country, we salute you, we salute your courage because you are a man who believes in the struggle of the party, said Mr. Secundus. He added that Mr. Ribori has ensured that Delta is the only state where all the governors that have ruled the state have been produced by the PDP. Immediate past governor of Delta State and cousin to Mr. Ribori, Dr. Emanuel Uduahan, said the event shamed people who bore tales that there was friction between him and his predecessor. Mr. Yuyuhin spoke in robo-language. They are all living in shame now. They were saying my brother is in prison in London and I refused to visit him. If I traveled to London to visit him, how would they know? They expected me to go on radio to announce it any time I visited him in London. Ibori is our national leader, a worldwide leader and I thank God for his life today. We must stop rumor mongering and sycophancy in this state. I want to thank everyone, including our spiritual fathers who visited Ibori while in London, Dr. Mr. Akawa spoke in a similarly phoning way. He said Mr. Ribori laid the foundation of development in the state and established a solid political structure. Responding, Mr. Ribori, 
said he only went on sabbatical leave. He claimed that God has shamed those who wished him dead. He advised the political class, especially those seeking political offices, not to heat up their polity, saying power belongs to God. <laughs>